Hi, I'm Ron Spomer. You know, the North American pronghorn antelope is one fascinating animal. For one thing, it's not an antelope at all. It's a member, and the only member, the only species in an entire family called Antelope Capernae, which is whoopee dee big deal. But the fascinating thing is that there were many kinds of antelope years and years ago, and they all died out, but this one species we still have. And technically, it's a pronghorn. It's not an antelope. Go ahead and call it an antelope. Most people will know what you're talking about. But here are some other reasons why this is such a fascinating animal. It's a horned animal. It does not have antlers, but it is the only horned animal in the world that has a prong to its horn. The horns are corkscrewed in Africa and rippled and all sorts of things, but they never fork. So this is the only forked horned animal in the world. Pretty unique. It also is the only horned animal that sheds its horns every year. Just the sheath, the outside part. There's a bone inside that remains and hair actually grows. And the hair gets converted as keratin into something like our fingernails to turn into that horn and you can see the hair follicles right here just they just sort of blend right in and you can see little pieces of them all through there and they harden and they turn into that horn as you can see the hair is actually fusing into horn so it's, hair and horn are both made out of keratin just like our fingernails but the hair grows up and turns somehow into magically turns into horn and that is what is shed every year annually around late October the new horn starts to grow from the base and it shoves this old horn off falls off and there's already a black horn being grown underneath. So you really never see a buck antelope without his horns, but they will change in size. So all winter those horns are growing. They don't grow in the summer like antlers on deer. So winter nutrition is critical in an antelope growing good horns. If they have a hard winter, the horn growth isn't as good. The eye sockets are set way off to the side. They actually protrude a little bit from the side of the head, which of course gives it a grand view. You can see pretty far behind it. I don't know how far because I've never been inside of an antelope's head, but just seeing that big eye socket pretty much clues us in that these animals see very well in a wide arc. Prey animals always have their eyes off to the sides of their heads. We predators have them in the center so we can triangulate. This is a prey animal and a very fast one. The fastest animal in North America, if you don't count peregrine falcons, but the fastest land mammal and it's second fastest in the world. Only a cheetah has been recorded running faster than a pronghorn. Why do they run so fast? Well, it's because they live out in the open plains and they're our only big game animal that doesn't try to hide. Pretty amazing. They use speed to stay away from their predators. So over the eons, they have had to run faster and faster and faster to stay away from the wolves primarily. And these days, coyotes. And uh, you get to be a grown up pronghorn, there's not much of anything that's going to catch you. It's the fawns that get nailed. So they have to hit the ground running. And by golly, if you ever are out on the prairie in the springtime when those fawns are dropped, within a day they're walking pretty good in loping. Within two or three days, you can't catch them. They can really go. And that's how the antelope in North America, the pronghorn, stays alive. Great eyesight, incredible speed, and those fancy horns, well, when we're out hunting, they tend to get the antelope in trouble. Thanks for joining me. For more information, visit ronspomeroutdoors.com.